Delicious move. Cora, Valencia, up the line here to Best. And can we La Croqueta inside? Hello, Best. Wake up, son. Ball into Gerard. First time ball to Rivaldo. Touches it beyond the keeper. And oh my god, how have you not scored? How have you not scored? Decora, Fabinho to Robertson. Gerard wants it in the middle. So does Decora, apparently. I wanted to give it to Best, but there we are. La Croquetas. Oh, that's a foul, ref. I'll take it. I'm going to send someone on the outside here. Just makes sense. It's going to be Rivaldo going around the outside of the wall. Straight to him. Bang. First time. Oh, he saved it. Rebounds in. Didn't cock that one up like he did the first one. Remember that effort where he um he lifted it? Or not lifted it, but he just managed to get a touch around the keeper and then couldn't put it in. That time, though, puts it in with the weaker foot. And we're 1-0 up. Straight from kickoff, and Fabinho is there to intercept the challenge, the chance. Oh, Robertson's been clattered. That's a foul ref, but, you know, play on, I, I suppose. And what a save from Kasper Schmeichel. Well, well, well. Uh, makeshift defence today because we're trying to try out that Antonio Valencia card, and uh, Schmeichel has pulled an absolute worldie out there. Ball comes in, and Fabinho heads it clear. Half time, and I would say that it's been it's been even. Yeah, that doesn't really give you a true representation of what's going on. It's very 50-50. In fact, at sometimes I feel like he has more of the ball than I do. So, bit bit of a false read in there. But I'm lucky to be one nil up, if I'm honest. Good football from Robertson, and we get that clear. Ronaldo to Decora. Going to use Valencia here, who's going to burst onto the end of this. Maybe I played that a little bit too soon. I send. Uh, George Best on a run. Little 1-2 here with Gerard and Rivaldo. That's great football. It really is. I'm in two minds. That's got to be offside. It's, uh, it is offside. That, I mean, I was close. I, I, I should have just gone for goal. I feel like a bit of an idiot for not really trying to just shoot. We've not made any subs in this game. Oh, he's gone for it. Well, 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 will you Adam and Eve it, or would you Adam and Eve it, I should say. Rivaldo has just scored such an unlikely goal. I've never seen that before. Like, normally that would just go wide, or it would hit a defender or something, but he's gone. I've actually tried to challenge. I've tried to make a tackle, and he's just insta-kicked it, and it's gone straight in. I don't know whether my guy here was actually trying to, to continue on and play and get the goal, but he's a good player, and that's unfortunate for him. End of the game, and uh, it, similar situation to half-time, really. It, things were uh, very even. Second half, though, is weird, right? First half, I felt like he had more of the ball, and I had more of the ball. I had 56%. End of the game, I felt like I dominated that second half, and he seems to have clawed the possession back by 3%. It's a strange one. Uh, Rivaldo getting both goals, both of which were very unorthodox. None of which were crosses, I suppose, so you could maybe take a positive away from that, but... That game reaffirms what I've been thinking, and I want Ronaldo on the left side. So I think what I'm going to do is for the rest of the time that Rivaldo has in the club, which isn't very long because we're going to submit him into Blanc, I'm going to play Rivaldo as my striker, and I'm going to have Ronaldo on the left. The, the issue I have is that, yeah, I want to play Rivaldo at striker for now, but I want to submit him into Blanc. To be fair, he's actually doing quite a good job, so... Now it comes back to, should I submit Nedved? To be honest, I'd rather keep all three of them, but I can't. I do need to submit one. So the question is, which icon do I submit into Laurent Blanc? My opponent now has... I mean, that's a fairly basic team. I would have thought uh, nearly every player there for him is untradeable or there or thereabouts, and he's just sold his team ready for team of the season. But uh, that would be my guess. There's Decora with a great interception. Can Valencia get there? No, it's sorry, Best. I keep getting them confused because Best is coming so deep. That's a goal all day long, and he's onside, and I'm playing so bad. And again, and again. How many La Croquettas can you string together? Valencia with a cross, blocked. Uh, with, I mean, relentless pressure, right? Surely offside from Ronaldo. It's not. It's a good ball in, but we can't break that deadlock. Well, our deadlock. He's already broke it, and he's through it with uh, with Quincy Promes here. Keeper didn't come out for it. I'm calling for the keeper to come out, and he stands in his goal. And we're 2-0 down, despite the fact the guy has touched the ball twice. Ronaldo off the bar from an unreal save, and he's kept it out. One of those games, I think. Tellez against Valencia. Ball in. And we've... I, I mean, I mean, I just... 
I just don't get it. I He's literally touched the ball three times. I'm 3-0 down in a game I am dominating. Look at the state of that. He has had two shots on target and somehow managed to score three goals, none of which were own goals. I've had 62% possession. I've knocked it about very well, and I am 3-0 down. Fabinho spreads it to Valencia. Straight up the line here from Valencia to George Best. It's good football. The problem I have here is here the game has been completely shafted me all game. So, can we get a good cross? We can. It's a goal. It's come from a Valencia overlap, essentially. I'm trying to get the ball, and Ronaldo just to, just doesn't want to. Ronaldo wants to celebrate. We're 3-1 down, Ronaldo. We're 3-1 down. Schmeichel to Best. Little layoff here to Valencia. Full of running. Ball played to Best, and he's onside. I've timed it right. Bang. Oh, how have you missed it? It's 3-2. We're back in the game. Get the ball, Ronaldo. Get the... Why does Ronaldo it just insist on, on celebrating? Drives me absolutely mental. Ibra, what a ball to Nedved, who needs to keep that in, and he does. Just goes round his man. Can he put a good cross in? It's a long, narrowed, sort of down the corridor ball. Fabinho gets it out. Gerard into Ronaldo, tries to hit it on the turn. We are giving some relentless pressure here. The problem is I'm susceptible to a counter-attack or six. Gerard does well, and the ball comes to Nedved. Hello. Good ball to Valencia. Oh, he's kept it in. I didn't expect him to. Gerard goes around the overlap. Hello. Hello. We've got a chance here. Gerard's cross wasn't very good. It was blocked, but we do have a corner. Well, I've made it. I've committed a foul. The referee says, play on. Are you drunk, ref? That is a foul all day long. Ball played from Valencia is a good one. Here is Nedved. Brilliant skills from the Czech, and he's through. All he needs to do is dink it back, stick, and we're in. Ronaldo, oh, you needed to jump, Ronaldo. What is wrong with you? Oh, he's played a great ball, and Maguire's missed it. He's dinked it in. Oh, and Jordan Henderson. I'm never giving him up in an SBC. He's been absolutely fantastic all game. Nedved. He knew what I was doing, and he still couldn't stop it, and that's a free kick. We have two minutes to dump this ball into the penalty area. I'm so angry that I've lost that game. That guy was not great. He's managed to score three goals in however long it was in the first half. Maybe some bad defending here or there, but it was just, the, you know, you've, we've all had those games. Every single shot your opponent seems to have just sails in for no reason whatsoever. You do the exact same thing at the other end, and the keeper makes a save, or it goes wide, or Ronaldo kicks the floor or something. We've come back into the game at the end. I was frantically throwing everything forward. We really could have made it three or even four and um, and it just wasn't meant to be. But I am I am livid that I it maybe doesn't look it, but I am I'm genuinely livid that I've not won that game or at least drawn that game. Now we're into postcom, but there's not an awful lot of this before we go live. I'm going to submit some sections for Blanc today. I know a lot of you were annoyed yesterday that I didn't do it. Uh, I've just I've been waiting for a few things here or there. That is Bundesliga done again. Uh, so now we're going to pick up Nabri where we got Delaney before. I still haven't submitted. Uh, Delaney so here is uh, me selecting Nabri and then the subsequent packs I'm already 10 teams through Bundesliga once more if you want to see me do all of this live well this wasn't live but if you want to see me do the the background stuff with the bronze packs and completing some of the smaller teams and such then uh, again the the link for Twitch should be in the description and I'll uh, I'll stream sort of three four times a week in terms of uh, what I said earlier in the video with regards to Rivaldo, I think, and I've, I've been to and fro on this for weeks, I think I'm going to submit Nedved into the Blanc SBC. I know, it sounds a bit silly, but Rivaldo fits the meta of this game more than Nedved does. Once I get bail, George Best will become obsolete, and I don't want that to happen, so what I'll do is I'll probably have to play him on 7 chem, but I will use Best as my cam, because I would prefer to have Best as my cam than Nedved, right? So I'm going to use Best as my cam. I will get rid of Nedved, obviously, and Rivaldo will remain in the team for now. I think the way that I'm going to set up going forward is to have um, Rivaldo as my striker, for, just for now, and then to put Ronaldo left and to put Bale on the right when we eventually get him. And then, of course, uh, Best will be the cam, and Gerard and whomever will be the CDMs. So in order for me to do what I want to do, I'm going to have to do it periodically. I'm going to have to do it step by step and, and player by player. I can't just go and change the whole thing as I want because I can't afford to do it. So if I were to keep Nedved 
it would cause a problem, right? That means Rivaldo would go, and in order to play to the meta, which is to have two very good headers of the ball on the wings, as well as being able to do La Croqueta and be able to run. You know, I need pace. I can't just play Ibra out there because he's too slow. So for me, having Bale on the right and Ronaldo on the left is going to be the way forward. Now, that leaves a problem. If I submit Rivaldo into the SBC to get the 100k pack for Blanc, I'm left with Nedved and I'm also left with George Best, neither of which are going to make a great striker. So for me personally, getting rid of Nedved, I don't want to do it. I really don't. And I don't want to get rid of Rivaldo. To, if, to be honest, I want to get rid of any of my icons. But doing it this way makes more sense to me. I will convert George Best down to a right mid. He'll get seven chem, and he will play as the cam. Gerard and De Rossi, for the time being at least, will be my CDMs. Ronaldo will be left. Bale will be right when we eventually get him. Hopefully he'll come down during team of the season or just as team of the season starts. Or maybe we make enough coins and we can just go get him beforehand. And then Rivaldo will be the striker. Obviously it'll start like this and, and what have you and we'll get the chem. It won't be a problem. But for now, that's the way it's going to be. When we get Cancelo, then things start to change a little bit more. And we'll be able to get ourselves... Um, we'll put Cancelo in here, Skriniar will move over, Blanc will slot into where Thiago Silva is right now, and then Casemiro, when we complete La Liga again, will come back in where De Rossi is, and we'll swap those around, and then we'll get, uh, for instance, it'll look like this, oh, hello, no, don't want Naldo in goal, that could be really, really bad, it'll look a little bit more like that, well, you know what I mean, like, you know, he goes there, uh, it, it, do you know, I, I, I know what I'm doing, right? Basically, I know what I'm doing, okay? So it'll all work out in the end, and eventually we'll have ourselves Casemiro and Gerard as our CDMs for the time being. We'll have Blanc in defence with Skriniar, and Handanovic can stay. Cancelo will be my right back. He will be given an extremely good link to Ronaldo. Alexandro can stay left back for the time being. Bale will be in the team. Best will be the cam, and everyone will be happy, essentially, right? I know what I'm doing to a, to a certain extent, and that's going to be the plan. I can do that bit by bit. If I got rid of Nedved, uh, Rivaldo, it throws a spanner in the works, right? I'd rather keep Best than I would Nedved, so there it is. I can get Best and Rivaldo back again in SBCs, but I can't get Nedved. So saying goodbye to this guy is going to be a bit painful. We've played 136 games, which doesn't sound like a lot, and his goal contributions are absolutely terrible. And it comes down to the fact that most of his appearances have been subs, and the fact that I just can't score goals with him since they changed the time finesse shots. Uh, it's it's a bit of a shame, really, because I worked toward Nedved to get him, and he, he went into the team, and then they, they obviously changed everything around, so it didn't really work out for me. But um, it's going to be time right now, actually, to get rid of him. So we're up to 300... 373,000 exactly from whatever we've just sold, which is awesome. Um, Kruger. I've got a lot of things left to sell here. Uh, once There's like 50 items on the transfer list altogether. I'm saving these 83s for SBCs because I will eventually need them. Uh, if we go over to Blanc before we um, submit that 100k pack. And I, I'm going to do it now. I'm not saving it for team of the season. I'll get another 100k pack from the objectives. If I... Don't pack anything in that 100k pack, then so be it. It doesn't make a blind bit of difference to me. I'm generating so many packs right now that eventually we will get something decent from those packs from Team of the Season. I'm, I'm not saving any packs for Team of the Season. I open so many packs a day, it honestly it doesn't matter. I just want to get it open so that we can use whatever players we get and we can pop them back into League SBCs. So, um, I'll submit that in a second. In terms of the 87 rated team... I've more or less completed it, and I know I've got Casemiro in there. Basically, what I'm going to do is I'm about four teams. I'm exactly four teams from completing La Liga again. Barca, Madrid, Valladolid, Huesca. It's going to cost me a lot to finish it, but eventually we will finish it. For now, because we don't even have Bale yet, for now, I'm okay for Kem, for, for the players that we have. I don't mind giving up Casemiro now, and we can get him back again. That We can always... We can always grind for him again. The The missing slot here and the play that we need to finish this is Skriniar. I don't want to give up my Skriniar because he has 658 games on him. I'm going to wait to complete um, Serie A again before I submit it. I'm only, again, three or four teams away from it. It's not that expensive either. So 
I'm going to wait a little bit longer, a couple of days. We'll get him back again. We'll submit the fresh one into this SBC, and that'll be the 87 done. The 86 is very close to being done as well. Um, I'm going to give up Naldo because I don't use him. I don't find him to be that good. This is uh, about 9 chem off, which, uh, you know, tweaking it here or there, we might be able to find the chem. I'm not too concerned by it. Converting Callahan down to a right mid will give us 4 chem and there's a few other bits and bobs. I don't really want to be giving up Collins, but I may do it. I may have to buy one or two players as well. Vardy is going to come from the Premier League SBC, which, again, I am Man City away from completing. I just need to do the loyalty thing, and we're done there. The 85-rated team, then, is a bit more of a problem. I would probably need to buy a lot of players. I've not quite hit the rating. I'm not far off, but I'm hoping this 100k pack could maybe give us something to go towards it. A Kalor Navas... Another Handanovic would be great, something of that nature, and we can get that in. Now, in terms of uh, the 100k pack, we're going to get this done right now. There he is. He's there. I don't want to do it. I really don't, but it's a means to an end. Nedved isn't meta. He doesn't fit the way that I play the game. I have a player who plays in his position. He's gone, and it's done, and I feel all right about it. I feel really bad about it, but it, it doesn't matter. It's done. It's gone. We'll forget about it. He won't even... It won't even be a thing. Right, so 100k pack. I'm not predicting a walkout. I'm not even predicting a board. I think it's going to be the most underwhelming 100k pack you've ever seen in your life. But without any further ado, at least if we can get any... No walkout, that's fine. Can we get a board, please, EA? We got a board. Right, thanks. Uh, no inform, no special card. Disappointment just doesn't even begin to explain. We do get Vincent Company, which is an 85. So at least we've got an 85 rated player. That will help us in one of the SBCs. And ultimately, I just want Blanc, right? So that's fine. Anything else decent in here would be nice. Oh, my God. It's, it's diabolical. You take company out of that, right? And you, you replace it with Akabi or something, the um, the centre-back from Lazio. And that is one of the worst 100k packs I've ever seen in my life. Not one 82-rated player. I do have eight duplicates, though. You never know. It could be Axel Witzel sitting at the back. No, I got... Pepe Reina. I mean, that's awful. That is a terrible 100k pack. When you consider what you can get in 100k packs, icons and such, and I get Vincent Company and a bunch of fodder. Unreal. Uh, but I wouldn't expect anything less. I'm going to list all of these on the market, and I might see if that Vincent Company can help me complete that 85 rated team. No, oh, come on, game, really? <sighs> Who can I put into this team that's going to help me? I'm 11 cam off for a start, but I don't know.
Okay, so unfortunately, it's not going to help me. I'm not going to spend the money uh, to to build up what I need. I think what I realistically need to do is just whack an 87 in there, and that should bump it up enough for me to be able to just buy a, maybe a couple and submit it. But what I'm going to do is, because I have the Premier League left to do, and all I need to do is just uh, get Kem on the City players, I will submit that, get Jamie Vardy... And then I will resubmit all of the teams I already have completed for the Premier League, which are quite a few. And then hopefully pack something 84, 85 rated, maybe even 87 rated that would help me towards completing this. Even if we just build the coin balance up a little bit, it won't feel as bad then going out and buying the players we need for the 85. I literally just need to finish the La Liga. No, not La Liga the Syria to get the 87 team done so I'll focus on that and then to get the 86 rated team done I just need to pack another couple of of players or uh, get some more Lee SBC cards that are 86 rated to maybe offset the the cost of Verratti or something uh, but ultimately we are very very close now we're literally just a few more packs away from being able to complete Blanc I don't regret doing that iconic just yet because we have more than enough super subs for the time being uh, to replace Pavel Nedved and I exactly, I'm not exactly playing a lot of FIFA right now but that's the team that I will eventually build into in the coming days of course Blanc will actually go into where Thiago Silva is right now and then Cancelo will replace him and that'll work chem wise anyway so yeah um, it, it, it's all coming together it's maybe taking a little bit longer than I wanted it to but we are getting there if you've enjoyed today's episode of the road to glory do me a favor you know what to do hit the like button subscribe to the channel if you're new and until the next time goodbye